is Mad Card, just 2539. And this is a bow cut tutorial. Or it could be the bow cut, bow cut tutorial. I'm not sure. It's either bow cut or bow cut, bow cut. But, um, while, while I decided to do this tutorial, while I still have my Viper cards in new pack order. Alright. So you can see it is in new pack order. Alright, so first of all, let me show you how it looks. Alright. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And now you can see every card is still in its original order. Alright, wait, hold on a second, yeah. There we go. Every card is still in its order. So, how you do that is, um, you know when you shuffle, most people take off some cards like this and shuffle. Or like that and shuffle. Whatever. But what you want to do for this is you want to have the cards sideways, all right? And then you want to um, here's how it looks. You want to keep your non-dominant hand still. Okay, most of you are right-handed. I know you are. So I'm gonna explain this for right-handed, left-handed. If you're right-handed, grab the cards on the edge with your left hand on the very edge. And then with your right hand, take half of the cards from the top like that. Alright, so it should look like that. Oop. Sorry. My mistake. Alright, yeah. So you leave your left hand still and you bring your right hand across to split the cards. Alright? Now if you're left handed, you want to do this the opposite way. Hold your right hand still and take your left hand and pull cards from the top. Alright? Or whichever way is more comfortable for you. Alright? So you just split the deck in half like that. Alright, so you do that. And make sure your fingers aren't like in the middle or near the middle. Make sure they're on right here on the very, very edge. Alright? So you have to know how to do a swing cut. A swing cut is like this. Right, and you know it's like that. But what you want to do here is you want to do it sideways. So when you're holding the cards like this, you want to do it sideways and swing the cards over. You don't want to just lift it up. You want to swing it over. That's why it has to be, your fingers have to be on the edge. Alright? So now you have that. You have to remember which side is the top portion. I remember that this side is the top portion. Alright? So you might be able to want to redo this and practice. Remember which side is going to have the top portion. Usually, the top, your dominant hand would have the um, top portion. Because remember when I showed you this. When you take these off, this is my dominant hand which has the top portion. So, remember, your dominant hand has a top portion, alright? So, you want to thread these like this, alright, intersect them, and your dominant hand, that pack has to go on top. You can see this is my dominant hand right here. You see that's going on top, and the non one is going on the bottom, alright? But you don't want to just go like that, and that's it, because you want to have your dominant hand, you want to have that hand at an angle like this. You can see it's at an angle, alright? So, now it's at the angle. Now what you want to do, sorry. Alright, so now you have two packs at an angle. Alright, so you want to take the bottom one at an angle, take it out, and put it back this way. And then take the last one and put it back that way. I know this might seem a little bit confusing. Um, let me show you one more time. Alright. So, you split the cards. You swing cut, you intersect them with your dominant hand on top, alright, and also the dominant hand has to be at the angle. Pull out the bottom pack at the angle, and then the last pack at the angle, and then it should be just a false cut. Alright, and up to speed, should look like this, like a normal cut when really you didn't do anything.